Do you remember Greg? He was in our first story, Squirrels. He was that nice little Canadian man, trying to be upbeat while still helping out John. Do you ever wonder what happened after Mr. O stabbed him? Our Patreon subscribers found out in March, and through the grace of their benevolence, they are sharing the aftermath of that story, Squirrels, with you today. So please, enjoy this special episode. And it's only a few more short weeks until September, where we'll have a brand new story for you, which will allow you to once again choose the path of an all-new protagonist in a whole new tale. Hey, Dad. Listen, I... I wanted to come out here because I miss you. I'm sorry I haven't been this far out in a long time. You always said that life moves on. And you wanted us to just keep living, but... Things are really different now. The way through the snow was a little rough, but... I'm okay. Turns out I get around better than I thought. So I got stabbed, which I'm sure you know. Well, worse than that. I stopped listening to a lot of my post-operative instructions after I came home. Not the parts that matter, really. Just the diet. I have like half a pot of coffee a day. Which has led to practicing the nastier parts of aftercare. It's pretty gross at first. But now it's cleaner than shoveling up after the girls in the barn ever was. Joanna wanted to be part of that exit talk with the doctors, but I kicked her out when they got to talking about what I needed to do just to maintain. She was pissed off, but I was firm. I needed some dignity before I left, even when I couldn't look anyone in the face when they talked to me. But that night in the barn, that was the end of a lot of things, Dad. Phew, it's cold. It's only snowed a few times since January, but it's been so damn cold, right? Can you feel it? I've been sleeping on the couch near the pellet stove. As long as I keep it fed, it's comfortable. Sometimes I even wake up sweating after falling asleep on the couch without a blanket. I haven't been up to my bedroom to sleep since the hospital. My stoma's healed well enough, but I hate the stairs at night. I hate almost every second floor around here now. Don't be pissed, but I've been watching this new show, you would have loved it. It's called Letterkenny Problems. I watched the whole damn thing the first week back. It was during the first snowstorm, and the best part of getting cut was that I didn't need to get out there and plow the drive. I bet you would have had me out there anyway, but everybody else around here is feeling guilty. I can see it on their faces before it's too hard to look at... to see... So, um... Chief Jameson came by last week. The investigation's over, basically. But he warned us about that type of trouble. He just stood on the porch and lectured us that it had been a nightmare coming down the town, assuring them that it wasn't some home invader on the loose. Just some sick ex-boyfriend of Joanna's come to talk to her and not take a no for an answer when we defended her. You'd probably be angry that we called in all those favors. I saw coyotes in the trees out here from the house. They've been stalking the sheep pen. Angela put a round in one week. They haven't been back for a few weeks. But if the snow keeps coming through to mid-spring, yeah, I don't know. Look, Dad. I'm not alright. I just can't fucking stand being around people anymore. I mean, everybody's leaving me alone, mostly. It's just that when they don't, I gotta find a reason just to leave the room. Joanna asked me point blank why I just keep leaving, and I just said, I have to drain my bag. Nobody's challenged me since that. <laughs> I think she thinks that it's all over. 
that nobody else is going to come after that guy that was taken. But I don't know, Dad. Her way of doing things now, it's so much more different than what you did, you know? I don't even think she thinks about what the people we serve out here do when they go home. I was still on morphine the first few weeks and I yelled at her one night. I told her that we're just slumlords painting over the black mold and calling it a fix. You know what she says? Farms gotta eat. Yeah, the farm might eat. But she's not eating the bread, Dad. I haven't seen her do it since the early days after you died. This new way, I don't know. She told me it works. But the animals, they can't handle it the way that you could. They go crazy. And if one of them gets eaten by another, that one gets crazier. Angela took down Robert. Cost Guy a quarter of his pay for feeding a squirrel to the old goat. He can still pay his bills through the winter, which makes him continue to play along with Joanna's way rather than demanding to go back to yours. I mean, she's right. The old ways don't pay. But what I saw, I just don't know anymore, Dad. I don't know what to do here. I don't even know where to look at you, for you, whatever. When we buried you down here like you told us, did it work the way you said it would? I'm not sure whether to look down by the marker, by the roots, or at the branches over here. Are you in there? Are you next to mom all sucked up in the roots, waving through the branches? Or are you with the dark hunger? By that thing that whispered in my ears as it filled the barn, mentioning the night I had up in Halifax, visiting my biological dad. The one you helped cover up? He was a monster, I thought. Even when he begged me to forgive him, I was sure I did the right thing, Dad. But this guy, the one who gutted me, that was real evil. A cold thing. Like a machine. Just wanting to take the world apart. And when that darkness washed over me, that voice in my head... It just kept talking, sliding all around my body, looking for a way in, and then it, f it found one. I see the dark place now, Dad. When I don't look away fast enough from Joanna, or even any of the cousins that share your blood. I see it. The dark hunger. All around the corners of their eyes and mouth. I see it swirling around the edges of the property. And I don't know how to tell Joanna this. But I know that by not eating what we serve, she's starving herself now. And I don't know why. It's got me scared, Dad. We got a new guy, John, and I think you'd like him. After that night, he's basically doing my job along with learning the ropes on how to greet and talk to whoever else comes up here looking to be served. He got it almost as bad as me that night, poor asshole. I think Joanna likes him. I can't tell, but she laughed at something he said the other day, and I couldn't hear what because they were in the kitchen. And I haven't heard her laugh that much in years. That has to mean something, right? Somebody needs to keep your blood going. Someone's going to have to be here to plant Joanna under a tree at the end of the line, too. I'm up here today, too, because I wanted you to know that once it stops snowing, I'm leaving, Dad. I can't look out the windows at the fucking barn anymore. I can't sit around and watch people who don't want to be forgiven be served. Joanna won't listen, but I've got a list of names from the past five years, and I'm going to go check on them. I want to see if we're really doing what you taught us. Or if we're just giving the guilty a chance to do it all over again. If I can find one person who's turned it around, I'm just going to stay away. But if not, I promise you I'm going to come back here and shut this down. That's just part one 
of Greg's ongoing story that's been featured on the Patreon subscriber squirrel feed. We hope you like it. If you do, why don't you sign up at patreon.com slash whichever path. And don't forget, share the shit out of this show. Everywhere. You could buy stickers from our Tee Public page, like it on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Tell everyone you know we're on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify. Basically, wherever you look for us, we're already there, looking at you. There's still time to submit some questions to the Q&A episode we're going to do. And then, get ready, because the path will start to unfurl in front of your feet. And you'll have some choices to make this September. Can't wait.